As hurricane season wraps up here in the Keys, we encounter one last unexpected surprise. What we thought was just another normal two-day storm ended up bringing with it nearly seven inches of rain and a tornado only a few blocks away. We were lucky to have no other damage than a few uprooted banana plants and a boat full of water. If you have the will and a moment to spare, it's a beautiful world out there. It's a beautiful world out there. Good morning. It's a holiday week out here. It's the week of Thanksgiving. And here in the United States, a lot of people take the whole week off to go home and visit their families. So today, I'm heading out to plant a million corals to volunteer my time because they were nice enough to let all three of their employees head home for the week. They're a little short-handed this week and the founder's actually off on a business trip. And so I'm heading down there to give a hand for the day. I'm not really sure what they're gonna be having me do, but I am willing to do whatever they need. Anytime you're working with live animals or plants or anything, they need to be checked on daily. They don't stop for the holidays. So um, I do have previous experience working in aquariums and zoos. I have never worked directly with coral but I'm excited to see what that's about. If you don't know what the Plant a Million Corals Foundation is all about, check out our video on it. We went down and we interviewed Dr. David Vaughn, who's the founder. He stumbled upon a technique that helps coral grow 10 times faster than it ever would by itself. So they're out there trying to help restore the corals in the oceans, which can not only save our oceans, but it could potentially help to save our planet. So check out our video on that. I'll put a link for you. Uh, and then head on back and finish this video once you figure out what all the coral's about and what that great foundation is doing. They're amazing people. We really enjoy them. They've become good friends of ours. Very happy to come help out today. You can donate my time. Uh, so it's gonna be a good day. It's, the weather should be pretty nice outside today. So we're doing tank cleaning this morning. All right, I'm all done at Plant a Million Corals. Unfortunately, it's really hard to video and do work at the same time since my hands are always in a tank. But today, I cleaned the tank with siphon and scrubbed it, and then I helped cut some corals and glue them on plugs. And during some downtime, I helped install some lights in their tool shed. So, put in four hours today, hoping to get a few more in next week. <laughs> with Thanksgiving behind us and Christmas quickly approaching, we were tasked with getting the biggest Christmas tree we could find for the owners of this house before they arrive home in a few weeks. Christmas trees grow fast down here as there's no Christmas tree farms in the Keys. We were very fortunate to get the last nine foot tree at Home Depot. Good morning. It's Sunday. We're on our way to plant some million corals to help clean the tanks. And then we're going sailing. Excited. Oh yeah, baby. In the 
Florida Keys, where oceans sway, I found my heart in a newfound way. Love for the sea began to ignite, embracing its beauty from morning till night. The reefs a canvas of vibrant hue and glorious backcountry views. Sunsets painting the sky with grace, nature's masterpiece, a wondrous embrace. Dreams of sailing, yeah, they've reawakened. Thoughts of voyages, paths untaken. A Sunday cruise, an invite so kind, with Rich, Jason, Dee Dee, and Bella, friends aligned. Beside myself with purest joy, grateful hearts no words can employ. Thanks to all who led us this way, to moments cherished in the sun's warm rays. Here's to the keys in our love for Big Blue, a ballad of gratitude, heartfelt and true. Um, we need to move this sail from one side to the other. Uh-huh. And what we're doing is going dead downwind to, to blanket that sail with this one. Uh-huh. That will allow me to furl, bring that one in. I see. So that's what's going to happen now. And what I'm going to have s someone here do okay. is release this sail. Let it go some more. Oh, more? Take all the tension off that line there. I want it flopping okay. down. There, like that. Perfect. Capable hands now. Oh, oh good. We saw that he's a master sailor now. Yeah. But these clouds are low. They're gonna have some nice colors. But yeah, not I guess good shapes in the clouds. If those clouds were higher. We'd get some real good colors. But it's gonna be a good one. I don't know. You want to make a prediction? I'll say 7.5. Just to chop. Cases to me. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing so you'll never miss another episode. And we'll see you next Tuesday for another adventure. I have to redo that. <laughs> All right, edit, play. This is not a blooper, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> 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 Delete. <laughs>